Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover all things Azure. Today we are continuing our data factory series. In this video I will show how you can copy CSV file from the blob storage to Azure SQL database. This video is already a part 3 in this series and in the previous two videos we have already covered how to create a linked service to blob storage and how to create a linked service to Azure SQL database. If you are not familiar with the linked service concept please watch those videos before watching this one. Links to those previous videos can be found in the description. Now let's get started with today's subject. Let's start with today's setup. We have a storage account. In that storage account, we have a blob container and in that blob container, we have a CSV file. Then we have a SQL database and in that database, we have a database table. And now we would like to use the data factory to copy that CSV file and its contents to that database table. But before we can do that, we have to describe the CSV file to the data factory. And in data factory, we are going to use object called dataset to describe this CSV file. First, we need to describe what is the linked service for this CSV file. In this case, it's going to be the blob storage. Then we need to tell the data factory what is the file path to this file. And then we need to tell the delimiter of the file to data factory. With the CSV file, it's going to be comma. And then we need to tell, does our CSV file have a header or no? And this CSV file has a header. And because our CSV file has a header, our data factory can automatically read the columns from that file. And then we can use this data set as instructions for data factory in order to read the data. Next we have to describe the database table for the data factory. So we will also create the data set for that table to the data factory. We need to describe the linked service. Now it's going to be SQL database. Then we have to tell the table name. And after we have given the table name, data factory can read the columns from the actual table. Then we can use these as an instruction for data factory to write that data to the database. After we have done all this, we can just configure the copy activity and let the data factory to handle the copy. Now we have covered in theory how to copy a CSV file from the blob storage to Azure SQL database. Next, let's go to Azure portal and see how we can do this in practice. Now we are in the Azure portal. Let's first open our storage account and open our blob containers. Here I have already created a container for us for this tutorial. Here we can see that I have already uploaded a CSV file called azure.csv. We can check the contents of the file and we can see that there are five rows and one of those rows is the header for the file. There is data about the Azure resources that I currently have in my resource group. So our source dataset is fine. Next, let's open SSMS and configure our sync dataset that is going to be the database table. Here I have few lines of SQL code. First line will create the schema and then create a table to that schema. Now let's run this code and now let's refresh the tables and here we have our database table that we are going to use as a sync in this tutorial. Let's go back to the data factory and let's create a new folder for the tutorial tree. Then Let's create a pipeline to that folder. And again, let's name this pipeline according to our naming conventions that we're using here in the data factory. Then we have to create two data sets, one for our source and one for our sync. Let's start with our source. Let's go to the data sets and let's create a new folder so that we can stay organized here. And let's create a new data set to that folder. And now we want to choose Azure blob storage and then we want to select delimited text as our file type. And again, let's name our file quickly so we can recognize this when our data factory gets crowded with objects. And let's select our linked service that is our blob storage. And then we can go and find our data set in the blob storage using data factory UI. After we have selected our data set and selected first row as header, then we can click OK and create the dataset. After we have created our dataset, Data Factory gives us a bunch of other options that we could change with the dataset. For now, these options are good. And we can actually test that Data Factory reads the data fine by clicking the preview data button to see how the data would look. Our data looks fine to me, so all the settings should be now correct 
So now we can proceed to configuring our sync dataset. Again, let's create a new dataset. And now let's find Azure SQL database. There it is. Let's click that. And then again, let's name our dataset. Next, we want to select the linked service. And then we can select our table from the table list. Then click OK. As you can see with the SQL database table, we don't have that many options that we can change with the dataset since the SQL database table is very standardized format and there is not really that much room for us to do some tweaking with the actual data. Now we can go back to our pipeline and add new activity to our pipeline, which is going to be copy data. Then let's name our copy data appropriately. And next we can configure our source dataset. And our source dataset is going to be the CSV dataset that we just configured. And then we can configure our sync that is going to be our database table. There are a lot of options that we could now change with our source and sync dataset with the copy data activity, but we are not going to cover those in this video. So we leave everything as default for now. Then we can open the mapping tab of our copy data activity and import our schemas so we can see how the data factory would map our CSV file to our database table. After Data Factory has imported our schemas, because the column names are the same in the CSV file and in the database table, Data Factory can easily automatically map these. If these would be different, then you would have to do this mapping by hand and select which source column would map to which sync column. But now everything is set here. So next we can try to debug our copy activity. Let's press the debug button. So our copy activity will start running. This should only take few seconds since we are moving only few rows of data. And now it is already done. We can check that rows read four and rows written four. So according to this, everything seems to be fine. Then we can check our database and check our table. Do we have any rows? So let's select everything from our database table and let's see what kind of rows we have there and everything seems to be okay. So now we have successfully copied contents of the CSV file to the database. And that is all that I wanted to cover today. Now you should have an understanding how to copy a CSV file from the blob storage to Azure SQL database using data factory. If you enjoyed this video and found this helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more data factory and Azure related content. In the next video, we are going to cover data factory triggers. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.